Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Okay. Um, one second, Anu, let me see your question. Okay, what we were discussing? Yeah, we were discussing this one, test data design, right? Okay, what is your question, Anu? Uh, we do not, we, we have to get the load runner downloaded. Okay, Anu, this is 11 a.m. batch. Okay, load runner is going to start very late. Okay. But if this is your question regarding, are you in the 1 p.m. batch, Anu? No, right? Okay, then leave it. Ignore it. Okay. See, in, there is uh, no software installation. In case there are any software installation, I will inform you regarding that. Okay, so don't worry about it. Fine. I'll inform you regarding all your installation. Then only you got to do the installation and not now. Fine. Okay. So we have the test data design that we are trying to do over here, okay? Right, and then we are going to prepare a details over here, who prepared it, who reviewed this document and who has approved this document, okay? Then the name of this test data document, it is the for the login, right? So I write it here. And then the next thing is, one second, let me limit it here. The next thing is the test data ID, okay, which I can write it here. Or let me reverse it. So this is the test data name. And then I should give the ID for this one also, like we had the ID for our test requirement. So the test data ID, I can give TD001 over here. Okay. And this is for login. And within the login, okay, the first one, that is your TD 001.1. It is for username. All right. This is for username. Then we have the boundary value analysis over here and then the equivalence class partition. All right. Okay. Then we are going to write over here for the username, what is a valid data? A to Z lowercase and then 0 to 9 is valid. Right. Then for invalid, it is A to Z uppercase. And then we have the special characters. And then we have a blank, right? So this is the invalid data. And coming to the boundary value analysis, what is the minimum range? Minimum range is, we got to start from, okay, minimum. Then we have the maximum. 
and then minimum minus 1, maximum minus 1, minimum plus 1, maximum plus 1, okay. Minimum size is what? 4, then maximum is 8, minus 1 is 3, maximum minus 1 is how much? 7, minimum plus 1 is 5, maximum plus 1 is 9, okay. Coming to the result, this is pass, this is also pass within the valid range, this is going to be fail, this is pass, then this is also pass, this is going to be fail. Clear everybody? So we have prepared our test data. Okay, now we will concentrate on this one. Prepared by, reviewed by, approved by. Okay, so who prepared it? So it is prepared by It is prepared by Priya, okay. Then let's say I'm a QA analyst. I got to mention it here. Then what date I prepared it? 16th August 2012, right. Who has reviewed it? Let's say Preeti has reviewed it. We write her name. She is a senior QA. Okay, let's say she reviewed it on the same day and then it is approved by, let's say Vinita, so she is going to be our team lead and then let's say she has approved it on 17, 17th of August 2012. Do you see? We got to prepare the details like this. We have to enter all the details. Okay. Is it clear everybody? Any doubts? Now, the same thing I got to prepare for the password. Okay. Let me copy the same thing over here. Right. The test data ID is going to be the same. I'll remove this one because anyways, okay, this is going to be the same, right? It's the common thing. Here, test data 1.2 and then instead of username, we will have this as password. Okay. Rani, in the real-time uh, scenario also, it is the QA analyst, senior QA team lead. Okay, whatever we are discussing here, everything is real-time, okay? So don't ask me that question, what's going to happen in the real time. Whatever we are discussing here, everything is going to be real time. Okay. Uh, not here, Vinita. We will mention all those things in the test case. Okay. Sure, Reggie, I will be sending the document. Yesterday also I sent, right? Today also I will send it. Sorry, Vidya, it is not like future date. Um, okay, let me do one thing. I will put it as like, you know, 15th. Okay, I mean, um, I just, you know, put a different date over there. Now, is it proper, Vidya? Clear, everybody? Now, let's prepare for the password. Password is simple, okay? I remove this one, I put it here. My password is done. I also, you know, if I write uh, the details over here, it is good. That it's going to accept alphanumeric. lower case 4 to 8 characters ok and for password I can mention over here alpha lower case 4 to 8 characters Clear everybody? No, this is not TD002, okay, because 
it is for the same thing the login itself okay in the login only we have the username we have the password right okay what is your question anu let me check Sanu that I answered right yes we got to prepare everything everything in the real time so whatever we are doing here everything is real time okay I mean there is no point in discussing which is not real time over here whatever we are discussing everything is real time so don't be under the assumption that I'm trying to teach some theory over here no all these things are real time you got to prepare them okay is it clear everybody okay fine so now this is how I prepared the data. There is another thing that I can prepare over here the different combinations. Okay. So what are the different combinations of the data I can have? For example here. Username. Password. And then the result. And then let's say action over here. Okay. So the username if we enter what are the different combination I mean the possible combinations we got to write now. Okay, so what are the possible combinations of the data that can be entered by the user? He can enter the valid username, but and he can also enter the valid password. In that case, it is pass. We should allow him to log in into the account, right? And then, in case he enters the valid username, but enters invalid password this is fail display error message not allowed to login into the account correct then invalid username valid password result is fail same thing again display error message if both are invalid I mean these are the various combination of a data which the user might enter then I can have this blank and then some value over here this is fail again this also is the same if he enters some value over here but here he leaves it as blank it's again fail and then display the error message clear everybody yes any doubts all the possible combinations I have mentioned now you might be thinking okay that in case here there are only two fields I wrote it so easily what if there are four fields how many combinations are you going to write are you really going to spend so much of time you know making all the combinations yes or not not required okay I can have all of them valid and only one um, let's say there are four fields one of the field could be invalid and I can test it okay I can have all of them as valid or I can have all valid and one invalid and then I can check it okay so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770-777-1269 this is a United States number if you're calling from the UK call us at 020-337-1769 1-7-6-1-5 You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.